cold in here. Sure would be nice if this truck had some heat. All right guys, so today we're working on our 1990 GMC 1500 and we're gonna be replacing the heater core. So there's a couple of reasons that you would replace your heater core. Uh, one reason would be that it's leaking inside of the truck. Second reason, maybe you don't have heat, so it could be clogged up inside and, and the radiator fluid is just not flowing through. Um, so today we're gonna to show you how to replace it. So the first step is to get under the hood here and um, right on the firewall on the passenger side, you'll see two tubes coming out and those are the heater core connections. So I've already got one disconnected here. So this is the tube that goes over to the intake manifold. Uh, and then the second uh, hose that I have not disconnected yet heads back over to the radiator. So that's the return hose. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that now. And there we go, we've got both disconnected. Uh, so now we can make our way over to the inside of the truck. So here we are on the passenger side of the truck under the dash. Um, there are a series of these little seven millimeter bolts all around this bottom plastic cover that you have to remove. Um, and underneath that cover, we'll find the heater core. So we'll go ahead and get started. have the cover out of the truck I wanted to show you where all of the mounting screws are located so you know what you're looking for when you're trying to take this cover off uh, we've got one right here on the front so this is the kind of towards the seat of the truck this is the passenger side and then this is the center of the truck so one right here at the front uh, really easy to get to we've got one here towards the passenger side very easy to get to we've got two over here towards the center of the truck. Both of these are really easy to get to. Uh, we've got one towards the back firewall, not too bad. Uh, and then we've got the sixth one, which is all the way up against the firewall. And this one is, is really tough to get at. Um, I'll show you what I used. So I used a deep well, seven millimeter, along with a universal joint, um, and just kind of fished it up behind the, the plastic cover itself, because you've got a Got a two inch tall shelf here that you've got to get around. Uh, so fished it up behind that shelf and was able to, to drive that screw out. Um, but it's gonna take you a few minutes and, and a little bit of working at it to get that last screw out. So we're back into the truck uh, and our heater core is located here. We've got the cover off. And if we look all the way up at the top, um, there's one screw and a clip that hold this heater core in. So we'll go ahead and put our nut driver on. just pull straight out. Here we have our new uh, GM heater core. We'll link the part number in the description below. I want to show you guys why I recommend buying one of these GM heater cores. So when it goes in the truck, it's going to sit about like that at an angle. And this is the clip that holds it in. So it just hooks there on the edge. And you can see that clip, the screw will go straight up and down uh, to hold the heater core in. So if you decide to buy an aftermarket one, all of the aftermarket ones have a different style end tank. So you can see it's a lot bigger end tank. And when you go to reuse your clip, you can see that once it's sitting in there, your screw will no longer point straight up. Um, and so you're gonna have to basically remake a new clip to get this to work. And honestly, I did put this up in the truck 
and it really doesn't fit that well with these bigger end tanks. Um, so I think this is one of those situations, spend a few extra bucks, buy the GM heater core and skip the aftermarket one. We bought some open cell foam, so the new heater core is here on the right, and it's uh, just self-adhesive foam and wrapped it around the edge to match the look of the old heater core. Um, the new heater core actually did not come with, with foam strips, uh, so we had to buy those separately. Uh, we'll link that in the description below as well. Back in the truck, we've got our new heater core. So we'll feed the pipes through the firewall. Just making sure it's all seated. Uh, so we've got our clip back in place. We've got both the pipes running through the firewall. We're gonna put the plastic cover back on. Best way to do this is to get started all the way in the back where these heater hose cutouts are. So we'll slide it back there, all the way up against the firewall. Should be just about like that. I don't have to kind of wiggle it into place here a little bit, but that's how you get it started. The last step is to reconnect the heater hoses under the hood. Uh, if you like the content, please subscribe.